all right welcome back thanks a lot for staying with me you're still watching simple as that the show that shows you simple but cost-effective things you can do to save yourself time and money today i find myself a sister Roya but asia you remember her from a previous episode we prepared breakfast fruit yes. meal yeah and today we have dinner and lunch meals already cooked and we're going to tell you what went into these meals and how to prepare them on your own so today she's going to talk about meals we can have during lunch and dinner and how to prepare these meals without adding things that are not too healthy for you so Mr. Romia, you're welcome thank you so much for having me once again today what we have here are foods that can be eaten mm. for either lunch or for dinner okay. and they're all plant-based foods okay. they do not have any animal products in them whatsoever no meats no chicken no fish no dairy products whatsoever mm. so we've taken local foods foods that can be found right here in Ghana at the market mm -hmm. And we have prepared them into the local dishes that everyone is familiar with. with. Yeah. Um, we've only added a couple of things mm -hmm. that might be new to mm -hmm. some people, but basically mm -hmm. everything you see here is food that people eat every single day. Every single day. All right. So. So Take we can there. start here. Mm. What we have here is just plain rice, but it's local rice. Local rice. The red rice that is grown right mm -hmm. here in Ghana and we've cooked it up so that it can be used under sauces mm -hmm. or stews. As a matter of fact we have an okra mm -hmm. stew that can go on your mm -hmm. rice. That's here mm -hmm. and it's your basic okra stew. Mm -hmm. We just don't have any meat in it. It's the okra, the tomatoes, the onion, your natural mm -hmm. seasonings mm -hmm. that you find in the market mm -hmm. are in the okra stew and you can put this over your rice if you want. All right. In addition to that, we have black eyed peas. And we've seasoned the black eyed peas again with natural spices and added pumpkin and carrots, uh, green peppers, and onions to this. Seasoned it up nicely. And again, just left out all of the meat, all of the pre packaged seasonings that people are used to buying from this store. Okay, so those of you who don't know what black eye peas is, is the normal beans, peas. yeah, <laughs> we have in the market normal beans, so nothing strange, just a different right. name. All right. All right. Mm. Um, here we have jollof rice. Jollof rice. Okay. My favorite. Good. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we've used products that have come from mm. the market mm. itself, mm. just leaving out mm. any animal-related products from the food and oh. just using the seasonings. People often think it's the meat that gives food flavor, but it's not the meat. It's the seasonings that give the food flavor. And we encourage everyone to use the natural spices, the same spices that your grandmothers mm -hmm. and your great-grandmothers used in preparing their foods. Those are the spices that we should be using as All well. Right. And here we have a favorite in Ghana, Wache. <laughs> Everywhere there's a sign for wache. And, yes. And this wache, again, made from all plant-based foods mm. using local rice. Yeah. Mm. And then um, we have some rice. Mm. I mean, I'm sorry, some mm. greens. Mm. These are the contumery mm. greens mm. that grow right mm. here in Ghana. And again, seasoned with the tomato, the onion, palm oil, all of the foods that everyone who lives mm. here are familiar with. All right. So we've just cooked them up, didn't use mm. a lot of oil. You mm. see this, the oil mm. is not floating on top. At all. You can actually see the greens. <laughs> yes, I can see the okay. green. So we're very conscious about how much oil, oil you take in. We, mm. Yes, that we put into the food. Mm. And then of course we have my favorite, fried plantain. Tatali. <laughs> Delicious, mm. wonderful mm. with the meal, mm. you know, it just really mm. tops mm. off. It's for me, especially the mm. beans and the greens, I love having plantain with those mm. two dishes. I see. And then this we can never forget. Salad. A fresh green salad. Mm. Everyone should have a fresh green salad either for lunch or for dinner every day. Wow. This is what we would call raw food mm. because we don't do any cooking to it. And the raw foods are very good for cleaning out your body. 
And so in addition to fruit, which we should eat mainly in its raw state, the foods that we use for fresh salads help to clean out the body. Right. So this is just lettuce, cabbage, tomatoes, parsley. You can shred mm. carrot on top, or you can even take the raw pumpkin and shred that and put it on top of the salad. The pear, mm -hmm. as it is called locally, or avocado, mm -hmm. you can cut it into chunks and add it to your salad. Mm -hmm. The wonderful thing about when you add avocado to your salad, you really don't need cream. All right. As it is called mm -hmm. here, we call it salad mm -hmm. dressing. Mm -hmm. All right. But you really don't need cream mm -hmm. because of the creamy nature mm -hmm. of the, the avocado. avocado. You just mix it into mm -hmm. the salad really good, mm -hmm. and it's as if you have a dressing on it. Mm -hmm. Very, very Okay, delicious. the thing with salad. I have a couple of friends who don't like salad, mm -hmm. and they say that they get allergies when they mm. eat salad. So I don't know whether they just don't like it and they're making excuses. <laughs> oh, well, there's something in salad that gives them allergies. <laughs> well, I know for some people, tomatoes mm. can cause allergic reactions. Okay. The other foods that are here, I have not heard of people mm. saying they have um, an allergic mm. reaction mm. to it. But one of the things that I have heard mm -hmm. about the fresh foods that are used in salads mm -hmm. is that people are concerned about how they're grown, mm -hmm. the chemicals, mm -hmm. and what kind of water. Mm -hmm. So what we recommend is that you wash your fresh vegetables thoroughly in salt water. Mm -hmm. And you can use the salt that's sold in the market, either in the powdered mm -hmm. form or in the rock form. Mm -hmm. And you just make sure you scrub the outside very good. Mm -hmm. And then if you're still very concerned mm -hmm. about the skin, mm -hmm. simply peel it off, all right. okay. thin layers, and then eat what's on the inside, all right. and you should okay. be all right. All right, so one other thing that viewers, you must know that if you have problems with where the vegetables are grown and the kind of water is used, you can just go to Eden Tree and you won't have any problem because they use good water to water their vegetables and it's very healthy and clean. So there you have it, eating tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hi. and then finally over here, we mm. have, these are specialty mm. foods, mm. but still purchased in Ghana. Mm. These foods on this side are made from soya, soya beans. Okay. We have simply processed the soya bean in a natural mm. manner mm. into what we call tofu, mm. or you'll commonly mm. see it on the shelf as soya cheese. Soya cheese. Okay, and we've sliced it, seasoned mm. it, browned it, and we've made um, what we would call battered tofu, mm. and we've made kebabs using the tofu. Using the same mm. seasons that you would use on kebabs, the kebab powder, your salt, mm. little red pepper, Okay, same seasonings, mm -hmm. only we've used it on the tofu. Okay. And then on this side, these products are made from whole wheat flour. Okay, whole wheat flour is called gluten. Mm -hmm. And again, it, we've taken it through a natural mm -hmm. process, and we've seasoned this as you would roast, uh, that you would put in the oven. We've seasoned it like that. And then again, your kebabs. And the texture mm -hmm. of this kebab is very different from the texture mm -hmm. of this okay. kebab. But again, very tasty, very delicious. And it's a very nice transitional mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. for people who are looking to move from meat-based foods to plant-based foods. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Very interesting and educative. You know what, viewers? I love you so much. I care about you so much. So not only do I show you things to do, but I'm generous enough to go out there into the street and call somebody to come and eat, you know, sharing is caring. So I share my food and I share my <laughs> tips. So I go out on the street and help me pray that I get someone who will be generous enough to come and eat with us. So stay tuned. I'm going out on the street. Simple as that.